What is going on everyone? Thank you for clicking on the video. So before we get into the workout footage, I just want to show you guys how we all start from somewhere, even me. I was going through some of my old posts on bodybuilding.com from 2007 when I first joined, and this is when I knew absolutely nothing about lifting, and I asked some stupid questions, but this one I'm about to show you is by far the stupidest question anyone could have asked about any topic in the world. So let me show you, let me see if it focuses. Okay, so the title is deadlifting question. Come on, focus. Okay, this may sound stupid, but how do you take the weights on and off when you deadlift if the bar is already on the floor? Yep, so that was March 2007. That was actually a question that I asked. How do you take the weights on and off the bar when you deadlift if the weight's already on the floor? So obviously I figured that out um, after some time. I just thought I'd show you guys that because sometimes it's easy to think that after you've been lifting a while you know everything and that you never didn't know anything. But just to show you, I did start from the bottom. I knew absolutely nothing and I had to learn, I had to learn what I know now. And that's why I'm always so eager to help you guys. I always encourage you to ask questions, and I'm always willing to answer people's questions. The only requirement that I have if you're going to ask a question is if you expect me to give effort into answering your question, put effort into asking your question. I get probably over 100 questions every single month, uh, mostly through direct messages on Instagram, but also on the YouTube comments and emails. And I guess and more than half of the comments will be something along the lines of give me a diet or tell me how to be shredded like you or give me advice on abs. Like they can't even put a, a full sentence together. So when you ask a question like that, I don't know you. I don't know how old you are. I don't know what your routine is. I don't know what you're eating. I know absolutely nothing about you. So you're not providing me with any of the information that I could even use to give you a helpful answer even if I wanted to. But the way I look at it is if you're not willing to put in the effort to ask me the question, then why should I put in the effort to answer your question? So if you're going to ask me a question, I'm more than happy to answer it, but at least put in some effort into asking it. Give me your age, give me your goals, give me where you come from, what you're currently doing, and give me like a paragraph of information that I could use, and then I'll be more than happy to read what you wrote and give you an answer. So that's just something that bothers me sometimes when people expect me to give them this thoughtful, helpful answer when they're not even willing to put in the effort to ask the question. So I thought I would show you guys that post. I'm sure you found it funny when I came across this the other day. I found it absolutely hilarious. So now I'm gonna take you guys through my latest overhead press workout. Enjoy the rest of the video and hit that thumbs up button if you are enjoying it. And also subscribe. What's going on everyone? So here is my latest overhead press workout that I'm going to take you through. I'm also going to show you a few of the accessory exercises, but I don't film all of the accessories only because it's a little bit annoying to film all of them on this day because I do a lot of supersetting and going back and forth. And when I have to set up the camera in between, it kind of gets in the way of the workout, but I did my best to show you guys as much as possible. So this is the fives week on 531. Since I did reset my weights uh, recently, I only go up to 140 pounds on this on the AMRAP set, and ever since I started resetting the weights, the fives a week on the AMRAP, I'm always getting between like eight and ten reps, which feels nice to actually get a decent amount of reps in because normally I never really go above five reps. So once you get more reps in, it's a different feeling, and you get that sick pump. Um, so this was a good workout. Uh, I've been feeling good ever since I reset the weights. Uh, no injuries. Everything's feeling good. Uh, but something that I wanted to address is kind of related to what I was talking about in the beginning of the video about how I I knew absolutely nothing when I began. And that's not being afraid to ask for help in the gym. Now, I'm not the kind of person that, if I, like, at my gym, most people don't use proper form. It's actually very rare to see anyone doing any exercise correctly. And I'm not the kind of person that's going to walk over to someone and correct the form if they're not really asking. I know sometimes people actually want you to do that because if they're doing something correctly, they would like someone to tell them. Um, but I just don't really feel like it's my place to interrupt someone's workout and tell them what they're doing wrong. If it's a younger person and I could tell that they kind of want me to uh, go over and help, 
then maybe I would do it. But for the most part, I kind of I kind of let people do their thing in the gym. And unless someone actually directly asks me for help, I won't really butt in, even if I feel like I should. Uh, when I first started going to the gym, though, people would interrupt me all the time and give me form advice. And I mean, at the time, I kind of found it a little bit annoying um, because I felt like once they told you what to do, then they were watching you. And if you didn't do exactly what they said, um, you just kind of felt like they were staring at you and it was a little uncomfortable. But looking back on it, I'm actually grateful that people came up to me and helped me. Uh, one of the people I remember helping me was uh, Max Charles. He was not an IFBB pro professional bodybuilder at the time. I don't think anybody knew who he was. Now he's a pro and he used to give me form advice on certain exercises all the time. So I do appreciate that. And there were, I know there were people when I started deadlifting, they would help me deadlift because I knew nothing about deadlift. I, as you can see in the beginning, I didn't even know how to get the weights on and off the bar. So when someone helped me deadlift, looking back, that was a good thing. So don't be afraid if you're if you're having trouble with something, if you see someone else that might know what they're doing in person, ask them for help. I mean, people want to want to help if they think that they're an expert or they could help someone out they'll always be willing to help you out so don't be afraid to ask it's the only way you could really learn um just because i um myself don't go out of my way to help if someone asks me i'd be more than happy to do it um but anyway the workout footage is wrapping up do me a favor hit that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching